Well, a controversial bill in Tennessee that would prohibit the study of reparations is not only creating some controversy, it's also under protest. Our Alan Self spoke with a Memphis reverend who just started a petition against the bill and in two days has more than 500 signatures. To do, and I quote, study, establish, develop, and administer reparation proposals that will be that will provide compensatory benefits to de descendants of individuals whose ancestors were enslaved. State Senator Brent Taylor speaking last year on the Senate floor on a bill that would ban the study of reparations in Tennessee. Senator Taylor says this issue should be resolved on a national level and local tax dollars should not be spent researching reparations. The senior pastor of Abyssinian Baptist Church, Reverend Earl Fisher, says money isn't the real issue. This is not about money. This is about ideology. This is about political power. This is about people who are hell bent on maintaining racial and economic inequities across the state. Last year, the Shelby County Commission approved $5 million to study reparations and find ways to eliminate racial inequity. The bill before the state legislature would prohibit local governments from exploring or implementing reparations for historical slavery and its impacts that many believe continue today. Senator Taylor believes the subject is significant, but says the local government shouldn't be tasked with solving the problem. I want to make very clear, our vote today does not pass judgment on reparations. That is a very significant and a very important issue for many people in our country. But it is an issue that belongs to the federal government. And he doesn't believe local governments should bear the burden of paying for it. I'd like to have a conversation with him and his colleagues on the merit of their argument because the merit of the argument right now can't simply be about how much money is being invested in the studies like these, especially when the state of Tennessee has a surplus that they've bragged about for quite some time. Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3. Now the bill is scheduled to go before the House for a vote next Wednesday.